Leipzig as you can see on the screen and uh, we've got our first games in charge of Brazil I'm quite excited for these and uh, I just want to run you through how this has gone so far competitions wise we've won our first two games in charge of, in charge of Leipzig this season we reached the second round we're coming against this team again I don't know whether we beat these last time or it's the one that we lost to but I'm going to be taking the German Cup a little bit more seriously because and I'm fuming about this we got knocked out against Look, I thought there was like three qualifying rounds and we got put in the second and the third. And then we got drawn against Bordeaux and beat them 1-0. And then I played such a good side against Bordeaux. Where's the wise box? What's been ticked? Not that. And Hydara got sent off in the 43rd minute. I was fuming. I was furious. I was actually so upset. But we have made some deals, transfers out. Well, it's only showing bias at the minute for some reason. But if we look at who's gone out, we can see um, f uh, who else left. Um, there we go. So Sarachi left for 5 million. Well, 3.6 uh, with add-ons is 5.5. I was okay with that. He wasn't getting any better. His potential wasn't very good and his value is now 9 million. That's probably because he's had a new contract. But it was down to like 4 million. So I think 3.6 was okay. And then Tyler Adams, very similarly, I've managed to get 3.3 for him, and his value is only 2.8 anyway. It's not very good. But that along with, oh, and the likes of Hannes Wolf ended up going to Dortmund for 27 million. His value dropped to like 22 million at one point. And so they offered like 16 million, and I said, 27 please. And they were like, that's okay. And I was happy to do that anyway. So luckily, I mean, his value shot straight up because he's young and he's got okay potential. Very good potential, but we're not playing that formation, so I don't need him. But that has allowed us to do something that I think makes our team a bit better. And we signed on a Meyer for only 15 million. He's already shot up to 23 million. He's currently just as good as Brayla. Oh no, not as good as Brayla, but as good as Idara and Meyer. Uh, and no, he's 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 just as good as Idara has got, well, he's already hit his potential. Hydara's got huge potential. I know he's hit his. Maya looks ridiculous. And I think he can play. No, he can't play that role. But after signing, you know, in the last episode, we talked about the fact that we'd signed Tonali and Ivan Gomez. I need to sort this out because I've been playing on a big screen. Um, yeah, after, after signing two or three uh, CDMs, we noticed the fact that maybe in centre mid we were lacking Too. So I thought if we do get rid of both Adams and Saraji, we still boost our finances up a little bit. Uh, we've still got 11 million transfer budget, which is relatively decent. But I thought we'll go and sign another centre mid because then, in fact, if we go like that, we've got Tonali who plays there because he's the better. Is he the better? No, he's the new Gomez. Is it? Raw. Gomez is it? star already well that was quick he has been playing very well actually um yeah so we've got Gomez in there and then it's between Maya Pereira and Idara in there and I think it really really solidifies the center uh, center midfield spots uh, especially substitutes as well so obviously we've got Mendy playing Stracosia in there, who obviously we either want to replace Paolo Lopez or Stracosia at some point. It's more than likely Paolo Lopez. Uh, I've not been a big fan of him last season, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, and another thing that we got done that I want to mention before we start. Uh, Abema Carno was a bit iffy with us. He wanted to sign a new contract and I was happy to do so. But his demands were far too high, it was ridiculous. So we entered the door, so I had to exit them, and uh, he just refused to speak to me about it. Uh, this was uh, like two or three episodes ago. Uh, now it's the start of the season, I thought I'll go in and offer him a new contract, and funnily enough, he accepted. For only 41k a week, he has got a 
expensive player on wages but that's just because he came from Barcelona and I must say he's been playing fantastic this season I'm not gonna lie he's, he's been ridiculous you know he's got one goal he's got four goals non-competitively he hasn't actually scored in the Bundesliga in two appearances but you know let's hope that he does well um, but in terms of his actual um, last couple of games he's been very good so I'm not too fussed with Mendy obviously we needed to sign a much better left back so him in. Um, when it comes to a look, he's all the way down here, 41. Everyone else on like 40 to 80k. Average Timo Werner is still only on 83 and he's got a few years left at the club. Uh, I did have a look at whose contracts expires the soonest when it decides it actually wants to uh, sort by that. Why is that not working? There we go, so these people run out at the end of the year. This no one runs out in 2022, which is good. So it's these three plays at Lima, Apamaka. Oh, maybe he hasn't accepted his new contract yet. Okay. So I think I might have just offered it him, actually. Uh, and so, hopefully, we'll get good. Change contract offer. What do we offer? Oh, 75, that's more like it, okay. So we, nah, yes, I understand now. So there's no more um, thingy um, release clause. But I'm paying him 2 million, 1.7 agent fee. It's gone up to 75k a week. And then everything else is just it, extra bonuses that we don't need. And then after five games uh, internationally, it'll go up to 85k. So that's what we said, it'd be okay. And he's agreed. Well, he said that should be fine. So I've just got to wait for him to accept it. Oh, brilliant. Look at this. News keeps getting better and better. Delict has now said he's happy to stay at RB Leipzig. Okay. Brilliant. But we have got Uruguay and Argentina as our first two uh, Brazil games, and they are huge games. I don't know how this is going to end up. I'm hoping we can absolutely smash it. We'll have to wait and see. Board confidence update. Philosophy is good. Competition is not so good. It's because the Europa Cup again. But I'm hoping to finish in Champions League spot in the league. And I'm hoping we can do quite well. So it doesn't really matter too much. Um, this guy. So, looking at the Brazil tactics, Edison, unfortunately, is injured. Uh, let's bring Alison in. Uh, if we look at... Oh, who else got injured? I can't remember. Oh, it was um, Gabriel Jesus got injured, actually. So, we brought Neto in uh, as our backup goalkeeper. And this guy, Rodrigo, who is technically a left winger, but can play on the right. So, uh, this guy looks amazing, by the way. I'd love to sign him if up leaving because he just looks phenomenal if we compare Rodrigo uh, comparison with Bruno where's Bruno Rodrigo is better mentally aerially technically not at all no and technically vision not so good speed not so much but physicals as well defending is exactly the same tell you what this could be a great great option to Bruma when he comes to it because Bruma has been phenomenal for us but we're chucking him in there as a spare striker we've also got uh, Neymar can play up top if I bring Coutinho onto the left and you know vice versa Vinicius Junior, Vinicius Junior 
He played for Leicester, and then Patrick Wai, who currently at Watford, of course he is. <laughs> of course, Tottenham are in the relegation zone. Of course, they are. That's class. I love that. So, Upamecano kind of wins his new deal. Good. On his choose the Brazil captain. Neymar is the current captain. That's fine. Uh, Coutinho is current vice captain. I'm happy with that. Leadership. Seems okay to be fair. Uh, I'm, that's a decision you can make. I'll go with that. And Rodrigo is a great player. I trust at this point in time, I believe he can offer a lot to the team. Yeah. I believe in the players. There we go. What are my thoughts on getting rid of his release clause? It's a good thing so far as it hands the club a bit more power, but footballers always get their way, so you never know what they Should be winning it comfortably. Go. I played. Don't think of a pair. I just can't do what I came in. 
here to do win football matches. Your team selection today suggests a change of tactic might be on the cost. What's the thing behind that? I've picked a team with a tactical style that I feel gives us the best chance of winning. Both teams come into this one in good form. I you your chances ahead of kickoff. I enjoy these matches a lot. The players don't need any extra motivation and they demand a high standard of football. I think we've covered it next one. Get creative. Come on, Alexandra. No, that's it. They've already had a shot. into Fabinho, Adam Minatau into someone, Arthur into, oh Douglas Costa sorry yeah, Arthur picks it up into Minatau, back to Arthur, what can you do with it, Fabinho's there, into Arthur, into Casemiro, into Fabinho, plays it out wide, Alexandra can cross it, and he does Fabinho's there, goes it, Diego Costa, Diego Costa, Douglas Costa sorry, that's more like his two shots but not on target, Torreira will cross it in, oh close off the line, brilliant, I forgot they had Torreira, they've got a very good team actually, just can we just appreciate their team? Campagna in goal, not brilliant. Jimenez, Cotes, Cody in and Olsen. Torreira, Ben to call is a good shout. Let's quickly scout that guy. Torreira, let's scout you because you're class. <laughs> Suarez and Cavani lax out on the left and Mayeda on the right. I mean, they're not best in terms of width. Let's go back to the match and see what we can do. Casemiro to Arthur, back to Casemiro, the midfield three are going to be amazing for us, I think. Douglas Costa whips it in, Firmino's there on his head, goal, 1-0 up. That's what we like to see. Douglas Costa in there, whips it in. Firmino's there, beats the defender to it. Great goal. Keeper wasn't, definitely wasn't stopping. is slightly defensive but I know that our front three are very creative Who's getting tired? Uh, Alexandra is actually tired, so it's probably Danilo or Tavares. There we go, that's what I'd like to see. This is ridiculous. Come on. What's happened to this though? Come on, come on. I hate having to do this every time. Box me. Shouts get creative. 
Great victory with the Firmino on song. Uh, also, an assistant to the press conference. We've been here pleased with the win. Brazilians are on course and responded. Nice. Um, are we liking my new sideman swag, by the way? Yes, yes, yes. You are quite in like cold controversy. I know that one anyway. Tactics wise, uh, a few players are going to be a little bit tired from that. Specifically, Marquinhos on my brain. Jefferson on. Oh, this is. I'm not liking where this is going. <laughs> um, let's let's do that again then and put Fabinho there. Deep line playmaker, Divend of the attack. There we go. Divend. Um, and I'm going to start. Symmetrical play. Alan there. Box to box support. I suppose that's not the end of the world, is it? Continue. We're going to get smashed by Argentina. I'm not particularly comfortable with this, but we're going to go with it. Revisit that and see who's actually tied on this match. And then we've got Wolfsburg, who are currently third. Uh, I think we can do that. I need to have another shave. So, international roundup. Um, the Leipzig players that played were Mekkanen. Was he even a Leipzig player? Apparently so. Aitara, did he do well? Mr. Koji, Delict. He has to have done well, it's good. Good crowd expected, yep. 
Brazil face Argentina in press match or what is in this conference as well. Brazil's last meeting with Argentina, we finished 3 2. Um, I would consider us, I don't want to make predictions, no, it's a bit different. Can you talk about your likely team selection? Are we here making one or two adjustments? Yes. We know these matches can often result in unsavory scenes and controversial incidents. Do you believe your players can handle that? It's, yeah, it's important to stick to the game plan. This is gonna go, but it's gonna go okay. It's not Gabriel Jesus. I was going to say Coutinho is there. Oh, already a shot on target. Well, we've already done better than last game. Alexandro whips it in, gets cleared. Forster finishes Juno, puts it out to Sandro again. Crosses it into absolutely nobody. Fabinho is there though. Into Jemison. We've had three shots already. Argentina are just going to clap back, aren't they? Oh, then Messi's not playing. That's a shout. What happened to Messi? Right, they've got Good. <laughs> Di Maria on the left. Okay. Pavon on the right. I know about Pavon. Asiabong, who is someone I tried to sign in the summer. Unfortunately, couldn't quite afford him. Caceres. Another good player. Acuna, Bustos, Otamendi, and Canada. Defensively, they're not brilliant and they've not got Messi. Is he on their bench? Taglia, Vico, Benedetto, Higuain. Icardi Lascelles, so they've got so many good players on the bench, but not the best defence, and they haven't got Messi. I assume he's retired from international. We are like two or three years down. 
on the line now. Sandra to Fabinho, back to Sandra. Can he play him through? He only plays it all the way wide to Douglas Costa. Can he play him through? Yeah, it goes through to Coutinho. That's a shot goes in, one all. That's what I like to see. Philip Coutinho get on the score sheet. Beautiful. Skip that. We need to be winning before we can even celebrate anything. I'm not going to like the formations doing this quite well. Vinicius Junior, what can he do? Do to Coutinho, Rodrigo's there, yes! That's 2-1. His first goal for Brazil. I mean, that was a finish, to be fair. Alexandre played it through to Vinicius Junior, did he? Yeah. Who runs straight through the middle of the pitch. Gets tackled, but Coutinho sees the run of Rodrigo, plays it through, and slots it in the bottom bin. I must admit, we're playing really well. Fabinho, all the way across to Jesus, into Militao. To Sandra, can you cross it in? He does. Douglas Costa there scores 3 1. Come on, time. Oh, I'll tell you what, guys. I need to put it, but we're doing well. There we go. Now we can look at the replay. Alexandra whips it all the way across. Rodrigo misses there. The continue plays Douglas Costa there. And slots it underneath Aruvi. Wow, what a game. This is much better statistics, though. Look, more shots. More shots on target, less fouls, less possession, but we're making the most of the possession we've got. I'm very pleased. Keep it going, lads. Shout, demand more. Let's get them. Let's get them cooking. Di Maria whips it in. It gets cleared, but Di is there. Plays it back to Pavon. Crosses it in all the way up to Di Maria, but saved by Allison. Coutinho has a free kick. Whips it across. It's cleared, but Vinicius Junior with the header. Oh, is that his first goal for Brazil as well? It is. He's going to be a great player in the future. What a goal that is. Vinicius Junior heads it over everyone and really doesn't anticipate it. So he doesn't get there in time. Beautiful. I've just realised my webcam's like pointing nowhere near me. Oh. The referee sent Caceres off. No way. That was, must have been a terrible challenge. There we go. You can see me a bit better now. Second, third winner. Let's make some subs. We've absolutely smashed large indeed, by the way. Um, Douglas Costa is looking tired. So let's swap him for Firmino. And now, uh, Fizz, you can come on for his debut, actually. Uh, it says you can play there, mate. Oh, no, you're a striker. Why don't we play you up top, then? Who else can play, right? Jemison off and bring Wallace on. There we go. We're one anyway, regardless. 
had just over 30 seconds to go, which was under 30 seconds now. And then Mattel passes it into Coutinho, plays it through to Alan, Alan plays it through to Arthur, back to Fabinho, across to Militao, across to Coutinho, into Fabinho, Andrew, uh, Alexandro, oh, that's it, full time. Full run, we had 21 so shots, that's how I like to do. Very pleased. Continue. That puts us at the top, top of the table now. I'm well impressed. Brazil trying. Super Classico Derby. Um, as an assistant, Jemison tonight for the win. Brazil are on course, and Emery spotted. Has been tracking Douglas Costa. Inbox. Coutinho shows delight. Well, Coutinho show delights Silvino. And Brazil duty ends. It's been par for the course so far. You've not been doing badly. That's all. Let's get on and make this a memorable qualification stage. So far, I want to keep up in this spot. I don't really want to drop down anywhere. I might give Maya his debut. Oh, in fact, tactics wide. Let's have a look who we're playing. Um, no one position. I don't want. So, Werner Bruma, anyone tired of international? Aidar is tired. Brian is okay. Delict is a little bit tired, so let's play Canarte. Everything else seems relatively good. Mendy and Bruma, I want to improve this link. I want to get these links good. So, Gomez is looking good. I mean, look at that. Werner already, four goals, three assists. Bruma, three goals, two assists. Malcolm, two goals, but four assists. Pereira, four goals. That's ridiculous. Maya hasn't actually made any starts yet, so I'm going to give you his debut now. Uh, I assume this season stats is not for our team, unfortunately. <laughs> Must respond. Hand over to manager. Continue. Maybe playing the attacking football. Pentacle is a great player, Jesus Christ. Eresman, Vinicius, Gant, Torreiro, nice. And Deme facing on certain future. Yeah, he is to be fair, but he's an influential player, so I don't particularly want to just kick him out. The way I see it, Diego has to take this as an opportunity to take his game and prove his worth to me. I picked players on merit he has to show that he belongs as we strive to improve every facet of the club. I don't really want to keep. Um, I'm counting on him to be an important player this season, though. Show me that equally is committed. I want it. I'm going to choose that just because I want him to. No, he's not really going to get better. So I'll choose that. Hopefully, that doesn't mean I promise him anything. I'm going on him to be a team leader. There we go. So they've had excellent form. Their third. Two wins in, well, we've just got the better goal difference. We're up there with Bayern at the minute. Let's see what we can do with the team. We have got a very good team compared to theirs. You can hear Becky snoring in the background. Let's say she's not very well. She's got work in an hour. <laughs> so I'll have to wake her up soon. Come on, lads, show me what we can do. Demand more. 
rising tomorrow to Canate. So like I said, we have made some subs compared to last season. We've brought in Maya, Gomez, Mendy. Oh, Canate was there. Who have we got in goal this game? Strakosha, we have got Strakosha in this game. But we've relatively kept the same sort of core of the team, you know, Pep Carno, Canate, and Delict in there. Gomez is injured, of course he is. Luckily, we've got Tanani who can just slot right in. Confirm changes. That doesn't look good though, does it? Malcolm whips it in. Gets cleared out, Broom is there, plays the ball across. Unfortunately, Wolf picks it up. Different Wolf. Canate across to Mindy. Plays it into Pereira, plays it down to Bruma. Plays it into Maya, plays it into Werner. Can he play the ball across? He does it into Malcolm, who plays it into Pereira. Takes a shot, unlucky. The passing and moving of this team is getting ridiculously good. Marley picks it up, plays it across to Brad Cap, is that? Who finds Deontay? Oh, unlucky. Corner kick coming up. Brackello whips it in, but it does get cleared by Pemacano. But Camacho is there. Why is there three people chasing the same ball? Jesus. Shout, let's get creative, boys. Come on. Tonali plays it to a Pemacano, plays it into Tonali, plays it to a to Mendy. Broom picks the ball up, runs through, takes a shot, goes over. It's only 30,000 because we're at Wolfsburg. Um, Camacho plays the ball across Arnold's there. Great save by Strakosha. Mafia picks it up. Mm, they're going to sub Brichello soon. Do we need to make a sub? Let's quickly make a sub. Um, Idara can come on for Borela. Yes. Mainly because we tied. 70 minutes in. Demand more. What can that do for this? No, Malcolm has a shot. Gets saved. Goes out for a corner. Come on, can we whip it in and score? Malcolm whips the ball across. Headed away. Bruma picks it up. Plays it over, out to Canarza. Oh. Saved off the line. Is that what they wanted to show me? Of course it is. Malcolm picks the ball up. What can he do? It to absolutely no one. Ball gets played back. Are they going to keep possession? Are they going to lose possession? They're going to keep possession. Wolf runs down the pitch with it. Crosses the ball in. But Strakosh is there to pick it up. Tactics wise, we need to make some subs. Uh, oh no. Pemacano is tied, so let's bring the light on. It's going to strengthen the defence up a little bit. Um, push forward. We need to win this. What's happening? Power plays it into Marley, cross it across Wolf's there, oh, saved. Oh, over the ball. Oh, I think this is going to end up 0-0. What a terrible result, Mafia has the ball. Plays it into Werner, who takes a shot. The ref's going to blow his whistle. There we go. So 0-0, not the result we wanted, but they are at the top of the table, so... I'm not happy with that out there. Not happy at all with that. Gomez is injured for four weeks, oh no. I'm happy it's only four though. We go top of the Bundesliga with a point. <laughs> For all of like a day. But Maya makes a debut and that's okay. Well, we're top of the Bundesliga for now. With Wolfsburg, just on goal difference. Bayern and Schalke are set to go on top of us. Um, quite comfortably. Um, but, luckily, yeah, they're the only teams that can go above us. They have Bayern. Schalke in a few weeks anyway. I don't have a Schalke got then. Augsburg, okay. Let's go. Well played. 
play the game again at Hamburg. Come on. I know I'll end the episode after that. Oh, 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 oh. I've completely forgot. Right, we look at the club. Uh, no, it's the board. Yeah, and it tells us what we've expected and when it gets finished. So, we had the first expand expansion of this uh, stadium. That was completed in 2019. So, almost a year ago. The training facilities are expected to be completed on um, the 12th of the 11th. So, we've got a few months left. Uh, we also, the board wanted to discuss improving the data analysis. So, that got started on the 26th and the 9th. On the first and the ninth, but it's going to only take a few uh, weeks, so it'll be done in the next two weeks. But they also want to expand the stadium again, so that's going to happen, and that is will be completed at the end of next year. Oh no, sorry. So look, the training facility started then; it will be completed then. The data facility was started on the twenty second of the eighth, will be complete by the twenty sixth and ninth, and then the stadium expansion again started on the first so about two weeks ago and will be completed come the end of the season which is amazing I think we're going up to like 58,000 seats which is even more continue apparently um, Leipzig just have an infinite amount of money to spend on upgrades Inbox. to this last game. Brazil have moved up to first place in the world rankings. That's huge. We've gone up to France. I'm now the manager of the best team in the world. Just pointing that out there. Just pointing that out there. Inbox. Uh, Brazil action in play. Uh, Brazil plays in action, sorry. No, don't want to watch any of those. I just want to get into the match. Come on. When the Bayern play, did they play today? The Schalke have Lost. Oh yes, we're second. Oh mate, this has been such a good start to the season. Other than drawing to Wolfsburg, but again, Wolfsburg are at the top, so it's not as if it was an easy game for us. Oh, that's beautiful. And we should be able to beat Hamburg. Where are they in the league twelve? That's good then. I'm just gonna wait for this to save. saves. There we go. Right. Sorry, I was just replying to my mum's text about uh, emails and whatnot. Because I need to email my email address to my stepdad but I haven't got his number. So I emailed it to my mum. Yesterday, my own birthday. Well, I'm on the top performers in their fixtures. That's good then. And my head's pounding. I think I'll get this book that Becky's got. is injured unfortunately so Tanale can come on Deme can come onto the bench um, my Dara can start above Pereira yeah we'll do that uh, don't want to start any of these um, Kenya is losing match fitness so I might start him over Malcolm let's do that So we'll play this game, and I'm more than likely going to play up 
until we've got a buying game in a few games time. I should have ended it like there and then played three games. I'm going to play through this buying game so you guys won't see that. Depending on what we get around here, maybe I'll play into the next um, or to the gym and final, uh, gym and cup, something like that. So you can see that on the next set of uh, Brazil games.
10 tee shots, 7 on target, just to get one goal. We move up to first, look at that boys. to the top anyway and we've got a game against them in a few years time so I shall see you guys later